Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Glory, your morning motivation and inspiration to start your day. This is the Prophet Apostle Paul Jackson and the best way to start your day is with God. I want to take you to Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 and it reads thus, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. He had said, and shall he not do it? He has spoken, shall he not make it good? Amen. Welcome to Morning Glory. I am so happy and excited that you have took the time out to be with me this morning. Amen. And as we enter into the word, there is a sure blessing that God will have for you. So God bless you as you join me. And I hope you will stay in tune right until the very end amen so the scripture opened by saying god is not a man god is not a man that he should lie it means that the ability to tell a lie is not in god the ability to say something that is unable to do or perform is not in god i want you to understand you have been praying for something God has promised you something and you feel like you want to lose hope. But this morning I come to you by the Holy Spirit to allow you to know that God has heard your cry and that God is still coming true on your behalf. Thank you Holy Spirit. Because you have been waiting and you've been wondering, how is it that I've been praying? Why is it that I've been praying to God? How is it that I've been asking God? It has been days, it has been weeks, it has been months, it has been years, and you're wondering if God is still coming true. God is saying to somebody this morning that he is not a man that he should lie. I want you to understand that special order takes longer. Special orders take longer. There's a story that was told about a man, a person that is in a restaurant. And the person order. And they see everyone that come in after them getting their order. The order has been taken out and taken in. And he called the waiter. And they said to the waiter, why is it that these persons that come came in after me, what they order is ready and I'm still waiting. The waiter said unto the person is that the order that they have placed is something that is easy. But the order that you have made is special order. I come to you this morning that God is telling me to remind you that the order that you have made is a special order. And you don't have to worry because God is going to come true on your behalf. You have been praying, you have been fasting, you have been seeking God. And he seems to tell you that he is not a man that he should lie. If God has spoken unto you, it means that God will accomplish it in your life. The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Need that the son of man that he should repent. The word repent means to change his mind. So God is not a man, meaning the ability to tell lie or to say something that he's unable to do is not in God. He's not the son of man, meaning he was not born from a man. That he should change his mind. I want you to understand the promise that God has made to you. Don't give up. Oh God Almighty, thank you Jesus. I feel the conviction to speak to somebody today. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Who am I talking to this morning? You have been waiting on God for a particular thing. And the Lord is saying to me to tell you that don't give up. It is closer than you think. It is closer than you think. It is closer than you believe. Don't let go. Because one of the name of God is promise keeper. Makia Zaprakata. Who am I talking to? The promise keeper is telling me to speak to somebody. To allow them to know that the promise that I've made with you will come to pass. 
God is saying that the promise that he has made to you will come to pass. The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. I want you to understand. God has said that you will be blessed in the city and you're going to be blessed in the city. Makia Zaprakata. Who am I talking to? I say God has said that you shall be the head and not the tail. Oh my God. If I'm talking to you, speak back to me this morning. If I'm talking to you, say something. He had said unto you that you should be the head and not the tail. He said that you are a peculiar people and he will make you that which he has spoken unto you. The Bible said God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And God is saying that who alone, who alone, because he is about to come true for you. You are closer to your breakthrough than what you think. I want you to understand. When you're closer to your purpose, things get harder. My God Almighty, I'm speaking to somebody this morning because you have been going through a rough time and you wonder why is it that I'm going through a rough time. But I want you to understand that the closer you are to your breakthrough, it is the rougher the journey gets. Because when the children of Israel was about to came out of Egypt, about to come out of Egypt, the task was increased upon them because they were ready to leave. Joseph was closer to the palace when he was in the dungeon than when he was in Potiphar's house. My God Almighty. Who is it that I'm talking to me? Talk to me this morning. Speak to me this morning. I want you to understand that you're closer to your purpose because of what you've been experiencing later. God is about to release the promise. He's about to release that which you've been praying for. Oh my God. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Joseph was closer to the palace in the pit than when he was in Potiphar's house. But in the pit is darker than in Potiphar's house, my God Almighty. You are so closer to your purpose because of what you're going through. The pressure that you're facing is the devil trying to discourage you. Don't allow the devil to discourage you this morning. To say that you should not be going through this because God has promised you. Don't allow the devil to say you should not be going through these things because you're a child of God. Oh my God, you're a I want you to understand the reason why you're going through these things is because you're a child of God. The reason why you're going through these things is because what God has promised you, the devil wants to discourage you before you get it. The Bible said God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He had said, surely not do it. God is doing it for you. God is doing it for you and he's going to do it for you. I want you to understand this morning God is saying to somebody don't give up. My God. Somebody begin to speak over your life. Begin to speak over your situation and say I am not giving up. Come hell or I water. I'm not giving up. I'm going to hold on to God no matter what it takes. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody speak that word over your life. I'm going to hold on to God no matter what it takes. The Bible says, he have said, shall he not do it? He have spoken, shall he not make it good? God is going to make it good for you this morning. God is going to make it good for you. Your tears is going to turn around for your good. Your heartache is going to turn around for your good. Your broken heart is going to turn around for your good. Your struggle is going to turn around for your good. Everything that you have going through now is going to turn around for your good. But you have to hold on. Who am I speaking to today? Who am I speaking to this morning? Who is it that the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to today? He's saying to you, it's about to turn in your favor, but you have to hold on. I want you to understand as you go throughout your day today, hold on because things is about to turn in your favor. Oh my God Almighty, I feel like saying it another time. I say, hold on, because something is about to turn in your favor. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I honor you today. I thank you for your grace, for your mercies, for your loving kindness, for everything that you have done for us, your people. I pray that you cover them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So blessings and prosperity, beloved ones. I want you to share the broadcast 
broadcast and always remember to give the video a thumbs up share the broadcast and give the video a thumbs up to lord god be with you as you go throughout the rest of your day in jesus christ's name amen and amen